What's good, YouTube? It's me, Voice Squiddy, again with another video, and today is a replay against, um, actually, oh, True Draco, obviously, because he doesn't have an extra deck. <laughs> I can't remember when I played this game, but uh, I started playing Rated again, and yeah, it's been fun. Fun, it just goes first, adds the diagram, which I'm pretty sure is that one in this format, so pretty busted. He has two of it with terraforming. So he, I don't know why he pop the pot of desires like off the top of my head when i see that i'm like okay he has a bad hand and probably has two pot of desires right because pot of desires is like a pot of greed you don't want to just get rid of it um so obviously he technically should have two pot of desires but i think he actually doesn't i don't know why he did that we'll find out but uh he card demises here i decided to ask this just because he could draw in the floodgates like realistically i could have just held it for the pot but it's like they both draw two cards so why not just do this get rid of the problem now Hand's not that great against True Draco. These two cards are pretty dead. Failure. Obviously, you can get a plus one if they change the True King uh, trap that summons. Um, Valor is obviously good to make Axis Code. That's really about it. Uh, but he actually passes. I don't know why he popped this. Like, if he still had that in hand, he would still play. It's because he dropped you, right? So, no idea why he did that, but I will take it. Uh, so, yeah, drawing this field spell is actually pretty good. This uh, hand is really, really busted against True Draco right now. Against this matchup, you want to get uh, the Afterburners online, you know, obviously to pop his Floodgates and Monsters. So here, I play multi row before the Fields Fell, just thinking that maybe I could send something to set. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have done this. I should have just played the Fields Fell and held this, as to not give him more information. Because, um, like, against this deck, you don't really want to set stuff, because it just gets popped anyways. And Widow Anchor doesn't really do anything. It's better to hold everything in your hand, because you know he won't die when you have Ringgraved. It's really hard for them to OTK, so next turn you can just like play stuff from your hand and get the full value. Um, here, summon Ray first, obviously, just to play around like Solemn Judgment, because like a lot of times his hand's so bad that he probably would just Solemn Ray. And then because we have these two, we just play this and just summon another Ray by sending the field spell, right? So, little things to think about. Gonna use the uh, field spell's effect on Ray, chain Ray's effect. Very standard play. Field spell doesn't need to send the card to targets to graveyard. It just has to target anything. So even if it's gone off the field like it is now, we still get to excavate three. Um, I think I actually missed here. Oh no, never mind. Just add another multi roll, which is great. As long as you can add something, it's free, right? It's plus one. It doesn't matter what you add, really. Like some cards are better than the others, but you know, just adding anything is better than nothing. Obviously, want to get the three spells engraved ASAP. Just discard our engine. I'm fairly certain it's just going to send a second copy of the field spell here. Or engage, actually. Hmm. What's my thought process here? I'm not sure. I think it might have been better to just send the uh, field spell and then have the engage in deck. Because if he had skill drain, I would have just gotten punished. <laughs> so I think that's actually a misplay, like looking back in hindsight at this replay. But. I guess I don't get punished because he doesn't have skill trait. <laughs> so I'm not sure what I was thinking there, but I definitely don't think I would have done that in hindsight. Um, anyways, it looks like he just has nothing, so I think... Well, maybe, like, he... Maybe I was just thinking because my Hawate went through, he didn't, he couldn't have skill drain. But I don't know, like, if I was playing True Draco, I might have just... Yeah, I probably would have just skill drain on the Hayate actually. So yeah, that was my thought process. He probably just didn't have skill drain because I all went through. Uh, I decided, obviously, like I mentioned earlier, just keeping these cards in hand. So, like, playing this is, like, just not a good play because, like, I wasn't going to set anything. <laughs> it was, like, just, like, on the field for him to pop. So that was definitely a misplay. Um, having double engage in hand, obviously, is just broken because next turn, just turn them on with three spells engraved. But in hindsight, I'm not sure that Kagari, that Hayate Sand Engage was necessarily correct. Again, you want to play super conservative in this matchup. Like these control matchups, you just want to save resources and try to get the maximum value out of your cards. So, uh, he top decks a duality and then does this. So he does have Monarchs Erupt, which I don't know why he activates that now. It makes no sense, but whatever. He's gonna pop, and I actually don't use Ray here, because if I used Ray, um, he could have searched a trap, and then because my monster or whatever link I bring out, like Kaino, would have been negated by this, he still could have destroyed by battle. So it would get him a free trap, which is not ideal. So that's why I just didn't use Ray, and I already have double engage, so like the game's basically more or less over, because multi roll makes it so they can't solemn judgment either or do anything in response to the spells. So we're just gonna set the second multi roll. 
and just like start doing some plays. He's gonna dynamite and just search a trap. Uh, I probably I could have dropleted, but I didn't think it really mattered to be honest. So yeah, let's just see what we get here. Obviously, hitting another name is always good. The ray is awesome. Puts another spell in grave because it sends a multi roll. And then I actually just use the multi roll here just to get the third spell in grave and also to summon another ray for free from the deck. And be able to double engage the afterburners and a bunch of cards. And it actually should be game this turn with access code if I pop that and then just try to go for the access code play. Um, but I think I actually make a misplay at some point that it's not enough to make game, if I'm not mistaken. Right, so here, after in the second engage, I should have searched the Hornet Drones just so I can make access to 53 plus 15. Um, it goes 68, but I'm an idiot and I added another uh, that first. So <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't kill him now. So just give them another turn, which sucks, but whatever. The game is basically unlosable. I uh, have the Cosmic, so I decided to pop the face down for whatever, like, I guess, just to be safe. It was Ragyaki, a random playing Ragyaki, I guess it was a bunch of deck. <laughs> Wait, yeah, Ragyaki didn't want to start it. That's right. okay. Anyways, I just decided to summon this guy to push in some damage, because I knew I misplayed and could have made access code. I'm uh, just going to use a Maxi, that's the only card that it hits in this deck, the one that specials. Use it as an Upstar Goblin to draw a card. And... It's kind of annoying now because he still has Diagram on board. So I can, well obviously with this I can just pop it, but then he gets to keep this, which is also kind of annoying. So I think I decided to just go for damage, like use the effect to gain a thousand, the rare effect that no one ever uses. <laughs> Poke for 25 and then just, uh, yeah, try to end this game on the next turn. Obviously that one misplay just cost him a bunch of time, you know, like he gets another turn. It's just very annoying and theoretically he could just top deck you know like like if card of demise was not gone he could have just top deck demise into like pot of desires and then all of a sudden he's at like four in hand plus like you know whatever he pluses he can get off other cards so it's technically like you know he could like very slim chance of actually getting back in the game like one or two percent probably but um yeah, that's why you gotta be careful of this deck. Just make sure, like, when you can go for a game, definitely try and push for it. If you can do it in a safe manner. Like, if they can stop your game push, you still have enough resources to be in a good spot, then definitely try and push the game. So that's what I should have done last turn. So he does actually top deck desires, like, which is crazy. Uh, top deck's heritage off of the desires, which is a really good draw as well. Um, depends if you drew a monster. I guess he didn't join the battle phase. I think he forgot to turn that attack, but I don't know why he would attack anyways. And from here, yeah, the game's just over at this point. Because I do have Afterburners and some other crap. You know, technically, if you drew... Oh, I guess, yeah, and then maybe Skill Drain, but I could have still popped it with Afterburners, even if we got rid of the monster. Main deck Lancio, which is funny, random. Um, I guess they really hate Tri Brigade. <laughs> I don't think it's a good option right now. It's only good against Tri Brigade and like bad against everything else. Against Drytron, against stuff, no, nothing really vanishes. He decides to just use the effect of the trap. And then he pops my uh, monster, so I get right back. Like, game's over. Um, I, yeah, I pop the trap off the Afterburners just to like get it off the board so he can't summon something and just stall the game again. <laughs> I hate the extra three clicks, is a lot. So yeah, just make Hulk and then he sees the access code and writing on the wall and that's it. If you guys like this, subscribe, like, and comment. I'm going to make some more deuces. I'll see you guys in the next one.